Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike York. Today is Wednesday, hump day. It's April 29th. Hope you guys have a great day so far. Uh, we do got a couple of items here on the economic calendar, so we'll just delve right into it. We'll start off the first quarter of GDP. So fourth quarter left us off up at 2.1%. Uh, forecast for first quarter GDP was uh, minus 3.9%, and it actually dropped much further down to 4.8% in first quarter GDP. Obviously, this is the uh, first sign, uh, first initial uh, reading that we're going to get, and uh, the final will come in June uh, on this, but uh, this is kind of our first look at what the first quarter GDP is looking like. Uh, we also got pending home sales for the month of March. Uh, in February, it was up 2.3%, uh, so home sales were looking pretty good. However, in March, uh, when everything kind of broke loose, it dropped 20.8%. Uh, so uh, that's how much impact we had, even though it's you know, obviously half the month. Uh, later this morning, we'll have the FOMC announcing their uh, wrapping up their two-day meeting, giving their announcement of the effects from it. Again, there's no plan for any uh, rate changes, but they may, you know, there might be conversation in regards to, or at least statements in regards to the bond pine purchases. That's something investors will be looking for, and anything else they might bring up. Uh, but that's going to be one of the things that we're definitely most interested in listening to, is if they continue their bond purchases. Uh, that'll be about 11 o'clock Pacific, or 11.30 Pacific Standard Time. Uh, let's roll ahead here to the headline news. Uh, stocks are up, uh, primarily the news on Gilead. Uh, they've been doing testing on the coronavirus, and so far it's coming in very positive. It's not yet to be determined what we would define it as, but it's basically, it's not really considered a vaccine or a cure, So, but it's supposedly uh, having good results in helping um, people with uh, uh, that are infected with the coronavirus. So uh, obviously that's some very good signs, and uh, they're obviously still doing more testing, but those are, uh, again, uh, signs in the right direction, and kind of putting a little light at the end of the tunnel here for socks and hoping that um, we can get uh, a bit of a smoother recovery here. Uh, let's check this out, check out how bonds are playing out here. Uh, bonds are doing pretty well. We're still kind of going up this curve here, the 25-day moving average rising. We're up about 13 basis points so far, which will translate to we should see a little bit better pricing on our rate sheets today. Uh, again, uh, this 25-day moving average, the Fed is just buying enough to kind of keep us in this flat line, but it's kind of 25-day moving average looks like it's going to kind of keep pushing us upwards. By pushing us upwards, we should see some improvements up there. At some point, we're going to be reaching this next uh, ceiling, and we'll have to kind of make a move one direction or other. So it'll be interesting to see if it continues to break above it or if it breaks below it and see a downturn or not. So again, uh, that will time will tell. But in the meantime, uh, let's enjoy these uh, mortgage rates. The other thing that could play a factor with these mortgage rates, of course, are the forbearances that, and how they're bleeding the services industry. We're still not really getting the help that we need from the FHFA. Uh, they're kind of refusing. Uh, their only offer is really kind of of a uh, mafia if, uh, task, uh, as I would describe it. Uh, basically, that they will buy these loans uh, from servicers, but uh, you know the servicers basically make about a half percent profit, but they're going to have to pay them five points or five percent or seven percent, basically, and that's kind of what they're uh, what they're kind of staying. So uh, it's not really a help or assistance. They're just kind of bleeding them even further uh, by their by these actions, in my opinion. So let's uh, kind of play it along here. Uh, tre ten year Treasury, we're kind of in the same range here at 0.6 today. You know, down slightly, but about 0.6 percent. And uh, that's pretty much wrap. Again, the good news is that rates are showing a little bit more improvement and could continue uh, seeing some more improvement as the 25 day moving average uh, keeps pushing it upwards. Uh, if you guys are in California looking to buy, please direct message to me or email me. I'd love to be able to hear from you guys and how we can uh, help you guys with your loan scenarios. I uh, also, in the description, have a link if you're ready to go. You can go ahead and start inputting your uh, your information, and we can read touch base and go ahead and, uh, again, um, see how we can help you guys out. You guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. We look forward to catching you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.